The Bible does not teach that you shouldn't drink. However, you keep consuming. Hold it a minute. Hold it a minute. You keep drinking alcohol, it's going to pickle your liver. Yeah? And by the way, don't get so religious because the communion wine they served in Corinth was not grape juice. That's why Paul said, you guys were getting drunk on it. Secondly, the very first miracle Jesus did was he suspended the law of chemistry. He turned water into wine without mixing grape juice inside it. And by the way, that wine, it was booze. It wasn't grape juice. Now, somebody said, Pastor, when I reach out, Nasapele, what are we? I go drink. So let me give you some balance. For those of you who are leaders, the Bible says wine is a mucker, strong drink is a brawler. He who uses it is not wise. Bible says that for kings, drink is not good. It says those who drink strong liquor are those who are about to die. Are you about to die? Let's give it some more balance. Where the Bible is not absolute, you have no right to be absolute. He said to Timothy who had stomach issues, he said, use a little. That one, that one you poured in your cup, it wasn't little. Though. Use a little wine for your oft infirmities. Do you have infirmity? If you have stomach disorders, it's cultural. It was cultural to the Jews, it was cultural to the Christians of, of Greece and to the Palestine. Wine was always a part of their appetite. You, you, you understand? Um, don't make a law where God did not make a law. Because I'll show you people who use a little wine, who have much more grace, are much more gracious, much more Christ-like than those who use no wine at all and look down on those who do. You have no right to look down on somebody who does because you don't. And you have no right to look down on somebody who doesn't because you do. But in all things, exercise moderation. Now, I know that the legalistic preachers, I'm going to get emails from them. <laughs> Go on, fight Christ. The Bible says he was a friend of tax collectors and sinners. They called him a wine bibber. He, his first miracle... He turned water into wine, not a little bit of wine. 1,200 bottles by Tudor Bismarck's calculations of 750 ml. Look at you, license. See, license. Don't make a law where God didn't make a law. Yeah? And if, if it's not for you, Christ in you, he will, say, he will let you know, this is not good for your health. It's not going to work for you. Yeah? And then moreover, if you go and use wine and somebody sees you who doesn't understand your meat and he says, I saw deacon so and so, brother so and so, elder so and so, leader so and so, walker so and so. Ah, that's my license. Please, send me one crate of champagne. You've just taken a brother into something he doesn't understand. And may have corrupted his faith. Thinking that what you do is right. It's not a matter of right or wrong. Paul said, all things are lawful for me. But not all things are expedient. That's important. If you're a Christian, where is your character? If you're a Christian, where is your